Welcome to me and the Zaza tree. In this video, we'll take a peek at some things everyone needs to know about marijuana in 2022, and we'll go over some tips and tools for avoiding use. Zaza is a slang term for marijuana. Other words you might hear for marijuana include weed, pot, bud, dabs, or blunt. When marijuana first became popular in the 1950s and 1960s, it wasn't nearly as strong as it is today. Marijuana from that time could be compared to a very small storm in your brain. In the 70s and 80s, we saw a huge jump in the strength or potency, and pot became a tornado compared to the effects of previous years. Since then, the potency has been increasing year after year. Marijuana is so strong now that people can addict much easier and may even have withdrawal symptoms. These withdrawal symptoms are similar to what you'll see when someone quits nicotine. Crabby, irritable, can't quit thinking about it, craving it. Users call this fiending. Fiending is another way to say craving or withdrawal. If you've ever seen someone in this state, it's not pretty. And yet, even fiending, people will insist marijuana is not addictive. What's up with that? The potency and destructive potential of marijuana now is hundreds of times more than what it used to be. It's not the marijuana of your parents' or grandparents' youth, and yet many people still mistakenly think of it as just pot. But it's no longer just pot. It's Zaza, Bud, Dabs, and a whole new potent drug. Marijuana today has stronger and longer impacts on brain functions, such as memory, decision-making, reflexes, and problem-solving. This impacts learning, driving, recall, and athletic ability. It can also have a bad impact on our relationship. Marijuana is absorbed by fat cells. We have a high concentration of these in our brains and reproductive organs, so marijuana can have its biggest impacts on thinking, memory, and sexual development. Females who use marijuana impact their babies before and after birth. Marijuana passes through the unborn baby through the umbilical cord and also through breast milk. If you use marijuana while pregnant, your baby can suffer from low birth weight, be stillborn, or have lifelong disabilities. Having marijuana in your system can drastically affect your ability to get a job, keep a job, hold a scholarship, or perform at work and school. In some states, marijuana is legal for medical use or personal use if you're over a certain age, much like alcohol. Like alcohol, you can get arrested for driving under the influence of marijuana, lose your job for showing up with it in your system, or get in trouble with your parents, guardians, boss, school personnel, or the legal system for using or having pot. Because today's marijuana is so concentrated, it stays in our bodies longer and it can be detectable sometimes up to or over 30 days. The people you respect can lose trust for you if you are using marijuana or you're found to have it in your system, and many opportunities will go up in smoke. So when you hear, it's legal or what's the big deal, now you know. Let's look at some tools for saying no to marijuana. You can say no and provide a reason that can't be argued with, like, I'd like to keep my job, or I don't want to lose my scholarship or my parents' trust. You can say, I'm allergic, or I won't be able to play on the team if I test positive. It can even be, I'll pass, not today, or I can't risk my driver's license for weed. You can say, I can't, I'm on antibiotics, or no thanks, it makes me paranoid, or jittery, or it gives me a headache. Think about your reasons and have them ready when you need them. Another strategy is to say no and change the subject. No thanks, hey, have you seen the new Marvel movie? Or, I have to be somewhere and can't show up high. I'm cool for now, any plans for this weekend? It's not my thing. I'm into, and then name a hobby and start talking about it. Changing the subject and asking questions takes the heat off the moment and buys you time to make an exit. A third strategy is to avoid people and situations where marijuana might be offered. Make yourself less accessible. Be careful who you give your contact information to. Change your number if you need to. If you have friends or family members who push you to use, avoid spending one-on-one -on -one time with them. Avoid party situations and gatherings with no adult supervision. Have a way out if you know there might be drugs or alcohol. And of course, you can say no, loud and proud. No, nope, no thanks. No is a complete sentence. Your body, your voice, your future, your decision. No, period, end of conversation. You can say no thank you. You can say a simple nope. You can honestly say not my thing or even no, final answer. Walk away if you need to. Have your reasons clear in your mind and ready if you're pressured. 
You have a right to say no, and don't forget to pat yourself on the back for making good choices. Avoiding the Zaza weed dabs is easier if you're ready with your reasons for no. Remember what you have to lose, your health opportunities, your future, driving privileges, the respect of others. Having your reasons and excuses ready. Avoid people and places where there will be marijuana, alcohol, or other drugs. Or just say, no thanks, not my thing. Remember, there's no such thing as just weed anymore. Marijuana is a seriously strong substance that can be addictive and, despite its legal status, it can cause a lot of legal trouble, as well as trouble with school, work, health, and family.